Hi guys, my name is Polina. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are continuing to make game Plants vs Zombies on Scratch. In this part, we will add zombies that can walk and pea shooter will be able to shoot zombies and they will disappear. If you're interested, keep watching this video. So, let's start. First, let's open our project and add new sprite zombie. And I choose zombie sprite. So, our zombies will appear in the right side of the screen and go to left. And because we have a lot of zombies, we will create clones. As usual, when the green flag clicked, repeat. Let's create 25 clones. Create clone of myself and as usual with random delay so wait and then operators pick random from let's four to eight seconds our own sprite should hide when i start as a clone show zombies should appear on the right side of the screen so we need to set position with the block go to x and y coordinate and x is 240 value here and y coordinate should be random but chosen from five variants we have five rows on the field so we should choose between these lines we have a list which contains these five values of y so for setting y position we need pick random from one to five from this list and we choose item pick random of y so we will choose one of these values of this list and set it to zombies as you can see our zombies appear exactly on the lines and now our zombies should go to left side so we need forever change x coordinate by for example minus one let's check great it's walking but actually it's really fast let's make it smaller minus 0 0.3 let's see yes cool and let's add animation when i start as a clone let's forever change costume our zombies won't be appear immediately after the starting the game so let's add delay about 30 seconds so we have time to create some plans and then zombies will come great so we have zombies that can walk and also we animate them in the next step we should add p bullet for p shooter i click Upload sprite and choose P. Cool, let's change size 30 and I change name Pia Bullet. Pia Shooter has to shoot if there are zombies in the row where we plant Pia Shooter. So first we need to check if there are any zombies in the row. So we set zombies to some rows we pick them random from one to five and we should save collect these values how many zombies we have in the row for to do this we should create a list let's call it zombies we need to have five values in the list it will be our five rows when the green flag clicked we need to delete all of zombie list and also add zero to zombies so we need to add empty values five times repeat five yes like this and after this we will change these values so after we create zombie and put it in some row we need to change value of this for example, we set zombies to the second row, so here should be not 0, but 1. And for doing this, first we need to save number 
of row that we choose here. So we need to create a new variable, make for the sprite only, and let's call it zombies row. And first we need set zombie show to this peak random from one to five, and here we item zombie show of y, and then we need to change item in the list by one. In the list blocks, we don't have like a, in variables change variable by one. Yes, that's why we need block replace item. So we need to replace item zombies row of zombies with item zombies row of zombies plus one. So we just increase value in the list by one and set it here. Let's check. While we are making the game and change this value to just one second, remember to change it after all. Okay, we have zombies and look at this. Look at our list. In the three row we had one zombie, so it's one. Two zombies, it's value two here. One in the fifth row. So our code is working. Great. Now we should check in the row where we already has planned peer shooter do we have zombies we need compare peer shooters row with values of zombie list in the block define plant y we have a variable which shows us number of row it's y variable so we need to save the value of row where we plant our pea shooter so of course we go to variables and make a variable for the sprite only because every pea shooter will have their own value of this row and here we need set pea shooters row to y so we need to check item of zombies and number of p shooter row so we need variable so we check item p shooter row of zombies and if it's more than zero it means we have zombies here we should create bullets we put it in the forever if block we need to say p bullet in which coordinate it should create so we have p shooter x and p shooter y but these variables for this sprite only we can't use it in a p bullet so we go to variables and make a variable for all sprites and call it bullet x and bullet y p bullet should appear in the same positions like we like p shooter so we need to set bullet x to p shooter x and set bullet y to p shooter y and after this we need create clone of p bullet and also let's make it with small delay example one second after this p bullet creating when p bullet start as a clone it should go to bullet x and bullet y and of course it should show after this and when the green flag clicked hide great and now p bullet should fly to zombies or until touching the edge. So we choose block repeat until and we need touching zombies or touching edge. And move five steps 
and then delete clone and also let's add go to front layer okay i just hide all these variables on the screen cool and let's check we have zombies cool and our pea shooter shoot zombies wonderful let's go to the next step let's create health point of zombies so they can die go to zombies go to variables and make a variable for this sprite only zombie in our forever loop we need to check if zombie touching p bullet then we need to change health spot zombie by minus 10 and of course when i start as a clone we need to set health spot zombies to 100 and if health point zombie is zero then clone should delete and also we need change value in our list of zombies duplicate this and just instead of plus one we need minus one so i change to minus one so we decrease value here let's check so we need 10 bullets to delete the zombies great it's working but let's also add some effects that our zombies will not disappear immediately but with some animation we have effects change and not color but ghost it make transparent and effect by 10 do it 10 times here if xp zombies zero let's check i plant p shooter yeah Look at this, it slowly disappeared. Great, wonderful, we made all the three steps. In the next part, we will create health point of plants, program cherry bomb, also add sounds and add condition for losing and winning. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon. See you next time, bye.